In this tutorial, you're gonna learn the must-know features to get started with Microsoft Teams in under 10 minutes. Now, at the end of this tutorial, we have a link to our full Microsoft Teams course where we go in detail about every Microsoft Teams feature. So let's get straight into it. And before we do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel so you can receive weekly tutorials. Now let's get into it. When we go to Teams, this is the main portion of Microsoft Teams because this is where you start to organize and then collaborate with your entire team. So if you have a team over here, you can just create a new team fairly quickly. So you can see over here on the left side is we have two teams already over here. We have my Excel online over here and then we have the sports club. So there's two teams, right? And what we have inside the teams are the channels. So if you have, let's say a specific team that you're working with on a project, then Creating a new team would be perfect for that, right? It's more of people that you work with continuously over a period of time. So that's perfect for a team. For every team, right? There's a general channel that's gonna be created by default, okay? And then what we can do is we can join or create teams here at the bottom. So you can see here, join or create a team. And what I'll do right now is let's just click. So let's just create team, build a team from scratch. We're good with this. Okay, and we have private or public. So if people need permission to join, then you can create a private group so that you have more control on the team. But if let's say it's gonna be public, pretty much anybody can join the team, okay? So for now, let's just go for public, right? And then let's say give the team a name. Let's say, let's think about the Excel fanatics, right? Okay, okay, once we're good, let's go for create. It's gonna be creating the team. And then once you have it set up, right, you'll be able to add members to your newly created team. Okay, so you can type a name, distribution list, or security group, okay. But for now, what I'll do is, let me just add Esther in, right? Okay, let's just click add, and let's just go close. Okay, and now we have our newly created team. So that's pretty, pretty quick to do. Now let's talk about inviting more people to join the Microsoft Teams. So it's pretty easy to do so because over here at the bottom, you can see a link for inviting people. So let's click that and then have a quick look on what we can do. So there's multiple options. You can copy a link, right? So it's gonna be sending the Microsoft Teams link to your specific users, or you can invite your contacts from your email contact list, or you can invite by email. So what we can do over here is there's a lot of options, right? But for now, we'll try it out by sending an invite via email. So I'll type in Esther's email address so that we can have a look on how it would look like. Okay, so we have the name and then you can add more people in here. But for now, we're good. We'll send the invite. Let me just show you quickly on how it looks like for Esther's. And then you can see over here that there's that email saying that Brian has invited you to join the MyExcelOnline org at Microsoft Teams, okay? Then you can now join and then click join Teams. And once you click that, it's gonna go straight to the Microsoft Teams and then you'll be inside the specific organization, okay? So that's pretty straightforward. You can just do it for all of your users. We're going to be focusing first on creating additional channels in here. So we're going to be clicking on the ellipsis over here, right? Now let's select add channel. So we're going to be adding channels in here. So under Excel fanatics, let's think of other Excel topics that we want to cover. Let's say Excel formulas, right? And then let's click automatically show this channel to, okay, to everybody. So that's good. Let's add a channel. Okay. So that's one Excel formulas in here. So chats are pretty useful if you want a private conversation with specific people or with a smaller group of people. Because for teams, right, inside the channels, pretty much everybody in the team or the group can see what you want them to see. Okay, so let's jump over to chats over here. Okay, so over here we have the list of chats that we have or the existing conversations that we have on the left side, right? And then what we have on the right side is pretty much similar to what you see in the channels. So when it comes to creating a new chat, it's pretty quick to do by clicking on this 
new chat icon over here on the top, right? And then you just type in the name. Let's say let's just type in Esther, right? And then since it's already existing, it just opened the previous conversation that I already had with her. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And now you can just start typing the messages that you want. Okay, let's say, hey. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward, right? It gets sent and then you can just add more people as well to the conversation. So for example, if I click on this, right, you can just start typing names and then you just add more people. Okay, and there's a lot of things that you do. You have the call, right? You have a video call as well. So you could just straight up from the chat section, you can just quickly collaborate and give that person a quick call. Okay, so I'm here inside my account and you can see now the files have been uploaded. So let's jump over to Esther's account. Let's put this side by side, okay? And now let's see on editing the PowerPoint presentation file. So I'll just click on it, right? And then you could see on how cool Microsoft Teams is because you can now edit the files right inside Microsoft Teams. So it doesn't have to be an outside or an external application, but right inside the web page. So it's going to be the same for Esther's account. What I'll do now is I'll click on the PowerPoint file as well. Let's say both of us are trying to brainstorm and we want to update the PowerPoint file simultaneously. It's possible inside Microsoft Teams, okay? So we have the same view, right? So I'll just go over to my account. Let's say, let's say for this one, I don't agree, right? I don't agree with this one. Let's say list of the, right, top. Excel formulas. Okay. And on Esther's view, you could see here on the right that the change, right, reflected as well. And you could see this green border over here. It's saying that Brian is the one editing this section at the moment. So that's really nice because it allows both of you, right, to work together and to be able to help each other. Let's just have a look at the calls tab over here. I'll just go to the call section. There's speed dialing, there's contacts, there's history, and then there's voicemail as well. So for example, let's just go to contacts since it's still clean at the moment. I'll just type in Esther's name and I'll just click add. And over here, you could just go straight to sending a message, right? Or email or video call and audio calls. So for the speed dial, let's just give it a shot. Let's just go for a quick audio call, right? But the cool thing with this one is you can turn your camera on if you want to have a video call. And the very nice thing is you can also share your screen. So over here, if I click share, you can share your desktop because pretty much when you're talking with another person remotely, one of the things that you need to do sometimes is show what you're running in your computer. Let's say it's troubleshooting or it's brainstorming together, it's easier to show what you're seeing on your computer to the other person. So once you click that, it's going to be very nice because it shows what you're seeing on the screen right now to the other person or to the group, right? Or a specific application, you can also pick that. So if you have a specific application and just want to specifically show that, then you could select a window as well. Now let's talk about adding more apps, okay? So this is one of the coolest features that I love about Microsoft Teams because you're able to add or extend the functionality that you have, for example, inside the channels. Let's say we have the posts, we have the files, we have the wiki, but we're not satisfied with this one. And just by going to the plus sign over here to add a tab, you're gonna be adding more functionality that's available to the team. And let's go to the plus sign. Let's have a look on what you can add over here. So there's a lot of things over here. We have the SharePoint document library, Excel, OneNote, PDF, Power BI, PowerPoint website. So what I'll do right now is let's go to PowerPoint. So let's go for PowerPoint first. Okay, we have the demo presentation and then our presentation. Let's give that tab name over here. Let's select the file and go for save. And just like that, now we have our presentation tab over here, right? Wherein people can now continue to work on the PowerPoint slides, okay? So the really nice thing with the add a new tab over here is if you have things, right? Or if you know that the team will be doing a task or working on a task together over and over again, right? Then it's best to add the tab over here so it's, it's easier for them right? No need to search for that file, okay? Because what they know right now is since this tab is over here, it's going to be frequently used. You can just go straight here and then continue doing your work. 
Now let's talk about the activity section. Since now we have a couple of activities that happened during our tutorial, we can have a quick look and then see what happened so far. So you could see everything in here, right? The mentions, the voicemail, missed calls, right? And then if anybody added you to a specific team or channel, those things, right? Pretty much everything that would happen that's related to you would show up here inside the feed. Okay, so now let's talk about the search bar. So we haven't touched this yet. It's the one on the top over here and it's a really flexible tool when you need to search for anything inside Microsoft Teams. So let's just type in here. Let's say I just want to look for the presentations, right? I'll just type in presentation and then let's look for messages or people, right? So if I click on this, we have a matching message because it's demo presentation over here that was shared. So it's really handy when it comes to searching for things. So for example, for people, let's say I just want to look for Esther, right? And it shows up as well over here, right? For messages as well, related to Esther, right? Everything shows up. Let's say for files, no matches, but you can also search for files as well using the search tab. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorials on Microsoft Teams. Now we have a full course about Microsoft Teams where we go through all the features in detail. Click on the link below to watch now and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel.